For beekeepers, it's an exciting day when one of their hives swarms because it means the colony is dividing. Honeybees usually swarm when their colony is so full that they need more space or when the old queen in the hive wants to make a new home. Today is warm and sunny and the queen bee in this hive is about to leave with all the flying bees. She leaves behind a special egg called a queen cell and in a few days this egg will hatch out into the new queen for the colony. Meanwhile, the old queen is off to find a new home. She is accompanied by thousands of worker bees. She is somewhere in the midst of all this confusion. I want to catch this swarm to put it into an empty hive. If I don't catch it, then it will fly off to a new home without any help from me. Somewhere dry, with plenty of space to build up its new colony. I follow the swarm along the hedge and I suddenly notice that all the bees are clustering around each other, high up in a tree. If I don't catch this swarm, they will stay in this cluster for a few days until the scout bees find a new space to found a new colony. Now how am I going to get this swarm? It's high up in that tree, about five meters from the ground. This is a problem. Uh, let's try this ladder. If I can, I want to catch the majority of bees all at once. In most cases, a beekeeper will use a cardboard box and just shake the bees into it. But this swarm is much too high up for that. So I've taped a box to a long extending pole. If I can just get this box under the cluster and give it a sharp push, then with luck, most of the bees will fall into the box. There you are, thousands of bees. In fact, with this swarm, I had to try collecting the cluster a number of times using a plastic pot on the end of the pole. I just couldn't get them. If I've managed to get the queen, then all the other bees will go into the box by themselves. I think I've managed to catch the queen because most of the other bees have now come down from the tree to join her. It's now the evening and I've waited to make sure that all the bees have come down to join the queen. Now I'll give the colony a new home. Here's the empty hive. I've placed a ramp leading up to the entrance of the hive. With a couple of short, sharp knocks, all the bees fall out onto the ramp. Walking up this ramp, they are now finding their way into their new home. Mm -hmm. 
A beekeeper will often give the new colony some extra sugar syrup. This will help them to settle in and start to build the new wax comb that is so important for them. The sun has almost set, the colony is quiet, the swarm is safely in its new home.